Hey everyone, Tyler here, and I'd like to go over a topic that is actually extremely important. So, getting into spray paint, you know that this is extremely hazardous to the health. And um, you need something to protect your skin, your lungs, and everything else, because spray painting actually affects the nervous system. It, it affects the liver, the eyes, um, the lungs, everything. And uh, we want to protect that. You know, we're getting into something that is definitely a profession. So let's do it as safe as we can, you know. Um, so here's the deal. When you're getting a mask, you want to make sure that this is what you're going to see on it. But you want to do your research just a little deeper. Um, with this model of mask, the MSA, um, they have two types of cartridges. They have the R90 and the P100. P100 can be used inside and outdoors. I, uh, I use this one because this is top of the line protection and my health is worth the investment for me. And I hope it is for you guys too. You also need a good pair of safety glasses. Make sure uh, you have gloves in a bottle. This is a shielding lotion as you see. It actually protects the skin from absorbing extra paint and other chemicals. This needs to be replaced at least every four hours. This is an extremely important essential that I have in inside of my kit. So guys, you can use this, but you can even use extra gloves if it makes you feel more safe. But um, safety is a topic that I think should be practiced a little more than it actually is. Um, you know, we all see pictures and videos of spray paint artists who are not wearing masks. Well, we're setting exa an exa we are setting an example for the rest of the world, guys. And uh, to me, this is a big deal. So if we're going to be the ones setting the example, let's make sure that we are setting it full on. And that also means protection. Protection needs to be full-on taken seriously. Thanks, guys, for listening.